Hello, my name is Emily and I'm an educator here at the Evergreen Cultural Center. Welcome to the Art Gallery at Evergreen Online. For this Family Days from Home video presented by Westminster Savings, we're going to be making cyanotype prints based on our nature and also inspired by our art gallery exhibition called Arrangements. What can we learn about ourselves and our values by looking at flowers? A single bloom can tell you many stories of love and loss, of community values past and present, of personal identity and our connections to other people, of the well-being of our environment. In the exhibition Arrangements, artists look at some of the countless meanings attributed to cut flowers, gardens, and wild plants to reveal how flowers act as surrogates for all kinds of ideas. The artworks in the exhibition go beyond concepts of beauty to take an unexpected look at this familiar floral subject matter. This exhibition features the art of 12 artists from across Canada, some of whom work together in collaboration to create their work. Have you or a family member ever received a bouquet of flowers as a gift? Perhaps in celebration of a birthday or a special occasion, or maybe to brighten your day when you are feeling sad? Have you planted flowers in your backyard or seen gardens in bloom around your neighborhood? Our choice of flowers and the way we use them to communicate can tell us a lot about ourselves and those around us. So beside me right here, this artwork is called Blue Meadow by Jasmine Guy. And the artist is interested in thinking about how these flowers, which are largely native to the lower mainland, and how these plants and their pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and other animals, how they're interconnected. So the artist is interested in our human relationship to the environment and invites us to actually think about and look closely at the nature around us. So we will be making cyanotype prints, as I mentioned earlier. It's basically a photographic printing process where we use a combination of the sunlight and also a specially treated paper. And with that, we're going to use some flowers, leaves, other found objects, basically nature items to create our composition. And with the help of the sun, we're going to make something really awesome. Now let's get making. Hi everyone, we're going to be making art with the sun today. These are cyanotype prints. They're made with an old photographic printing process that uses light sensitive paper to create a beautiful blue and white design. There are ways to create your own cyanotype paper from scratch. However, in this video, I will show you how to use pre-made store-bought cyanotype paper. For your materials, you will need cardboard, a plexiglass, or any kind of clear plastic, a variety of flowers and leaves, and if you want, you can include found objects that have an interesting texture. Next, you will need some water. And lastly, you will need some cyanotype paper. I also suggest working outside on a nice sunny day. To begin our project, it's best to plan out where we want to place our flowers and leaves. Play around with different positions and spots until you find something you like. I actually pressed my flowers and leaves in books, so they are already flat and easy to use. If you have time, you can try pressing them a day or two before you start your project. The plexiglass will smush down all the flowers anyways, so it's up to you if you want to do that step. After you've decided on your design, take all the pieces off and quickly get your cyanotype paper. With the blue side up, place all the nature items back on. Do this step quickly because a chemical reaction begins on the paper when it sees UV rays such as the sunlight. The objects are blocking the sunlight to the paper and will leave an interesting design. When your design is done, place the plexiglass on top just to make sure the flowers and the leaves don't get blown away by the wind. Also, it's best to work in the shade while you're building and then bring your paper to the direct sunlight when it's finished but I was unable to move from a shaded spot to a sunny spot while filming this portion of the video. It still works, but it, the end result is not as bright as a white, 
and I will show you examples at the end. Let your cyanotype sit in the sun for 4-5 to five minutes or until the paper is almost white. When you see your paper looks something like this, you know it is done. You will need to take off all the flowers and leaves and have your water ready. Rinse your cyanotype. This will stop the chemical reaction. Do this for about 40 to 60 seconds. And also don't worry if your design has disappeared or faded. It will become darker as it dries. In this example, I want to show you different options when using found material in cyanotypes. You can mix it up by using both nature items and other random things you can find around your home. My suggestion is to look for items with interesting textures or holes. Now we let it sit and I'm going to show you how it all turned out. So here are my cyanotypes. I love the contrast between the blue and the white. As you can tell, the middle one is more contrasted and white because I laid my leaves down while in the shade, then brought it out in the sun after. The others I made in direct sunlight, and it's not as contrasted, but it still looks pretty good. Also, another tip is that if you want yours to dry flat, try placing a towel and some books on top. It'll help a lot. I hope you try making these cyanotype prints and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking part in the Art Gallery at Evergreen's Family Days from Home. We hope you enjoyed this tour and art activity, and we'd love your feedback. Please take a minute to fill out the survey in the link below. Your input will help us continue to provide meaningful art experiences in creative new ways.